Welcome to Intv.com. Intv.com is a job portal. If you're looking for a job, you can log on to Intv.com and you can post your resume with us. In this video, I'm going to explain you one of the important, very basic Java interpretation. Explain static import in Java. What is static import in Java? For example, you have a class called uh, a static class, example class, and there are two variables. These two variables are marked as static. Okay, and uh, there is a way you can access these vari values okay by so this is this is the way you can access these two variables okay this is a normal way but java in java they have introduced uh, one more way where you can do uh, where you can import it directly using static so this this is how you should import it. Import static the complete package and with exact value. Okay. The advantage here is I don't have to mention the class name here. Can you see here? I am directly using it. So when I press F3 here, it goes to the main the class where exactly these values are present. Okay. So the advantage here is every time you don't have to use the class name to access these two variables. That's where the static uh, import comes into picture so the interviewer might be asking you what is static in import you can explain the advantage so let's see the benefit and the issues it allows you to remove the class name from the function calls for static methods or the values for the static static constants static values okay or uh, you don't have you don't need to mention the class name here you can just directly use it okay but what are the issues it can make your program unreadable very very important the interviewer is expecting you to answer this it, it makes your program unreadable and un unmaintainable importing all the static members from a class can be particularly harmful to readability if you need only one or two members then it's it's fine if you if you have only for example here only two values you want to import it st in a static Im using static import you can do that but if you want to do it for all the variables your your code will become like uh, unreadable and un unmaintainable okay so so ba uh, based on the context you can use it okay so static importers you can use it uh, like this import static and directly you can use the value without even using the class name hope this video is useful for your java interview thank you and all the best for your interview thank you